You can't, you can't, um, 1900, okay, 1900 FCLK, I, you know, you know what's interesting is because you said that you were like a lottery loser, 1900 FCLK is literally like a maxed out fucking Zen chip, dude. This is this is this is exactly the problem with XOC people putting their fucking numbers in the gaming channel. Cause you have a gamer like Ham Slice who thinks he has a lottery loser now. When you ha when you might have one guy out of like a thousand Discord people that actually has two thousand FCLK, and then this this guy um this guy's like. Hey guys, look at my benchmarks. I have two, like, dude, 1900 FCLK is, like, really good. Like, it's, what the fuck? Lot lottery, lottery normie. That's, like, you know what I mean? You didn't lose shit, man. It's just, like, you know what I mean? You can't, that's, oh man, people gotta be careful with that shit. It's so, it's so hard to compare your chips like people have to stop comparing. Like, don't don't compare your your silicon lottery, man. Even even that guy that just posted, he was like, "Can the 10900K get to 5.4 from 5.3?" You know this fucker is comparing his numbers with somebody else, and he's like, "Oh shit, I need that. I need that extra hundred megahertz, man. My oh fuck, my my gaming performance. Like, no, no, <laughs> no, fuck, no." Don't worry about it. Jesus. Don't fucking worry about it. Uh. Um. Yeah, just get the six core and save money. I agree, dude. A uh, few weeks out of the release for 5000 series. It's hard to say how they will perform with a few BIOS updates. That's true. Um. Rodzilla gifted three. Thanks for gifting the subs, my man. Rodozilla, you have any other questions you want to ask me? Ask away, my man. And I'll give you a. Are you in a Discord, Rodo Rodozilla? Scarecrow. Um. I think I think the BIOS updates. The BIOS updates can usually change boost behavior and that kind of stuff, but I don't see BIOS updates changing FCLK type of stuff. Even though AMD says it will. FCLK is more your substrate and fabric. You can't you can't change like you can't change a physical thing on your chip. Do you know what I mean? Like uh, nah. But but wait and see though. Wait and see. Wait and see. Um I wouldn't mind now that I now that we know that the 5600X games the same as all the other ones, I wouldn't mind picking this up and just testing it out. It's pretty cheap. It's not, not that expensive. Um, just catching up. I use four dims. Yeah, dude. Okay, there you go. Okay. If you're using four dims and you have 1900 FCLK, if you got two by 16 dims instead, you would have 2000 FCLK. You didn't lose no fucking lottery, my friend. Stop. Don't compare your, don't compare your fucking shit to other people, dude. Don't do it. It's a lose. It's a, it's a... It's a it's a losing game, my friend. It's like never worry what your neighbor has. If they have a fucking if they have a fucking driving lawnmower and you have this fucking push fucking saw blade shit, just just who cares, man? Who fucking cares? It doesn't fucking matter, dude. Just saw blade your grass and just have fun. You know what I mean? Just fucking leaf blow all that shit onto his lawn so he can fucking mow your lawn for you. You know what I mean? Like who fucking cares, dude? Who f don't fucking worry about it. You're, you're gonna be stressing about this and like losing sleep over this and shit. Like what the fuck? Just, just play games, man. Just enjoy your, f exactly. Yeah, 100 megahertz. Yeah, just enjoy your game, dude. Just literally just enjoy your fucking, you're like, like the guy, the guy who's posting the driving lawnmower in uh lawn mower the guy that's posting this in the gaming channel is worried about his extra 2 fps this guy is not playing games you 
You just go and play your triple-A fucking titles and enjoy your time. Let this guy stress out over the fucking overclocking forums, you know what I mean? Let, like, don't, don't be that guy. Don't get sucked into this guy's lane, man. Fuck that shit. Christ almighty. People in their silicon lottery, man. Hey, man, congrats on the growth in so little time. Hope it keeps up for you. Great content. I have... Thanks so much, Neo King. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the sub, my man. Are you in the Discord, Neo King? Get in there if you're not, my man. Um, I'll set... Uh, Neo King, reply down below that you're not in the Discord. I'll get you a link, dude. Um, again, yeah, thanks so much for noticing my, my, uh, growth, my small growth. I'm growing fucking fast, dude. It seems slow. You know, it seems slow to me because I check my stats every day and I'm like, oh, I only got 20 new subs today. But I remember when I first started YouTube, it took me like weeks to get one sub, dude. It takes a long fucking time, dude. It is a grind. It is fucking grindy. Does Time Spy or Superposition keep that 2150 frequency stable? Time Spy does. Superposition, you can go to like 2300, dude. Superposition is a bullshit benchmark. Dude, Superposition uses like 100 watts. It's like a fucking idol, dude. You can crank like 2400 megahertz in Superposition and it'll be stable. It's a, it's... Superposition is a uh, very... Superposition is a CPU benchmark, dude. It's like, how fast can your CPU keep up with your fucking graphics card? That's what Superposition is. The, t the 2160... The 2160 is my number that I use that's stable in everything. Not like... Like, like I'm not gonna like... Like, I'm not gonna do the fucking XOC thing where I'm like, I'm gonna get an extra 15 megahertz in superposition and post that in the gaming channel. Where's Brad? Fucking Brad, dude. <laughs> fucking, dude, I know Brad does that shit. Brad, fucking, uh, Brad's on like a fucking chiller. He purposely uses superposition because he's too scared to mod his card. So he uses this shit because it pulls 100 watts. He cranks like 2,500 megahertz on a 3090 because he's at like zero degrees. But superposition is the only benchmark that doesn't crank power draw. So his numbers are like in like, the, he's like number one in the world. Like, dude, at least he posts it in the XOC section so you know it's useless. If he posted this shit in the gaming channel, he would have been banned long time ago. But he posts it in the XOC section so you know it's bullshit. You know it's bullshit. Which is the way you're supposed to do it. You know what I mean? Uh... Just catching up on the chat here. Dude, how, how, how long have we been streaming for, guys? I literally don't know how long we've been streaming for. Uh, <laughs> Fucking Brad. Yeah, he's a good guy, though. He's a really good guy. He follows the rules. What did you get stable before shunt modding? Uh, I don't know. I never tried. I just... I, when I Before shunt mod... The, the way the GPU works before the shunt mod, I, I think I had it at plus 100. But you can't, you can't really voltage lock without shunt modding because uh, different game engines will pull different load and different power. So like, 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 if you do 4K Tomb Raider, it'll use like one here, one here, one here, one down here, like one over fucking here. It's all over the fucking place. You know what I mean? It's, it's you can't, you can't voltage lock without a shunt mod. So un unless you undervolt, if you undervolt, you can. But even then, if you undervolt, one game might by, might be down here. One game is up here. Like your frequency goes goes all over the fucking place. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not a comparable thing. That's why in my benchmark videos, it's just this. It's just this, and it's locked to 2160 on every single game. Every single benchmark is just locked. There's no fluctuations. There's no bullshit. Every single one of my cards and every single one bench is just that. So the number that you see is the number that you get, 
and the FPS number that you get. So that's, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, dude, Ham Slice is literally the only fucking gamer that we have in the chat or in the Discord. Uh, how does the CPU impact Time Spy Extreme graphics score? It doesn't. Not at all, dude. Time Spy Extreme is a hundred percent GPU bound. Are you cap modding the 10900K? No. You mean cap mod the motherboard? No, that's, that'd be pointless, dude. You don't, you don't, like, the, the VRMs, like, the VRMs on a motherboard, dude, are so insane already, and then the CPU itself has, like, caps on it and shit. It wouldn't do anything, dude. It wouldn't do shit. And the, the Apex already has, um, a thousand megahertz switching frequency. Like, there's, there's no noise going into that shit, dude. No noise. I'm not worried about that at all. Um, what are you guys talking about? Oh, I mean, underside of the 10900K's PCB. No, that's too risky for me, man. That's a little too sketchy for me. My my CPU is uh, way too good to be fucking with that shit. Like, 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 what what can I expect with a cap mod behind a CPU? In my experience, it's like thirty or forty megahertz at most, at most, dude. So it's like, it's like. Me soldering a whole bunch of caps on the back of my chip and I might get 30 megahertz. Like why why like I would rather keep my warranty. That that's a huge mistake, dude. Huge. And this would make zero di not an XOC channel. This is wait a minute. This is a gaming channel. 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 Gaming. Gaming, 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 gaming. Not XOC. Gaming. Gaming. Hang on. Just in case I get the fucking point across. Gaming. Gaming, 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 gaming fucking channel. No XOC. God fucking damn it, dude. Jesus. Not XOC. Why? Why? How do... Okay, guys. Guys, please tell me. How do I rebrand my channel to gaming and not XOC? There's too many of these questions that come up, dude. There's too many of these fucking questions. There has to be a way to rebrand this shit. There's there's too much. Okay, do, do you do you guys remember do you guys remember that one stream when I was like, there is there if you're an XOC guy, there is a huge market for a personable XOC guy. Huge. Look at all these fuckers coming in here all the time, dude. There's a huge, like huge. There is no personable XOC guy. They're all fucking coming in here. It's a gaming channel though. I literally, I, I just spent like fucking 45 minutes talking about uh, Overwatch and my brain perceiving characters and like I'm a gamer dude. I'm a gamer. I all like you know what I mean? I I take I take the knowledge that these guys have and use it to my advantage in gaming. I'm not gonna sit there for three hours soldering caps on a fucking CPU to get 30 megahertz. This this literally provides me zero value in Overwatch. Zero, dude. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't fucking get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I understand why he's asking because he's he's interested. He's interested to see how far my chip can go, right? But that's not the point of my channel. The point is, and do you remember how when like I'm building the fastest gaming PC on earth? 
This is literally the key word. It's not the fastest PC on Earth. It's never going to be the fastest PC on Earth. The guy with a chiller or the guy with a phase change and all that fucking crazy ass shit. This is going to be the fastest PC on Earth. Not the fastest gaming PC on Earth. I play games, dude. I play games. I like playing games. I like being competitive. I like teabagging fucking shitties all day long. You know what I mean? It has nothing to do with soldering caps behind the CPU. Game Chasers is... Game Chasers wouldn't be... That, 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 doesn't, that doesn't portray the... That doesn't portray the channel well enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the other thing, Reaction. Gaming is like RGB. No, gaming is modding your shit to have the advantage over your opponent. That's what fucking... Ga that's what gaming is to me. You get the advantage over your opponents, right? I don't want console kids in my fucking channel. That, that's, that doesn't provide any fucking value. Exactly. Ham Slice is one of the few guys. He's Ham Slice is one of the few guys that actually gets it. Like the goal. Like the purpose of the channel. Do you know what I mean? Um... Yeah, that's what I mean, Chambery. I'm, what am I gonna get, man? One FPS? It, like, literally, if my monitor gets 360 hertz, and I'm already getting 360 hertz in all of the games that I play, I don't have to mod my PC any farther. At, at that point, I've already peaked out the gaming performance that I need to be competitive. There's nothing else beyond that. There's no, if, if I had a 48 Hertz or 480 Hertz monitor and well, Overwatch doesn't support 480 Hertz, but if I had a 480 Hertz monitor and I was at like 466 FPS, you know, then there's an argument for further mods because maybe I can get an extra 10 FPS. You know what I mean? But as of right now, I have 360 Hertz and I can cap that shit out. No problem. There is no purpose of me modding any further. And you mod the 3090 so that you can get your 4K 120 Hertz in Cyberpunk. That's a different mod. That's worth it. You know what I mean? But I don't know, man. I got to rebrand somehow. It's, it's, starting to, it's really starting to fucking get me, dude. Frames for games. No, that wouldn't work either. Because it's the whole purpose... If you look at the slogan of my channel, it's helping you compete. Maybe that's the wrong word. One FPS at a time. But I, I figure... I figure that the word FPS would have indicated gaming. But XOC guys indicate or take FPS as a benchmark. It's like, it's like, like, like... So when an, when an XOC guy comes into my channel, they're like helping you compete one benchmark at a time. Not they're like like they're they're misreading FPS for benchmark. That's a huge fucking problem. You know what I mean? Huge fucking problem. And I I don't one gaming FPS at a time. That doesn't sound right though. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't fucking get it. I don't know why XOC guys. Yeah, it's not it, uh, this channel is not a benchmark chasing channel. Even though I do benchmarks, they're 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 gaming benchmarks so that gamers can see how far they can push their shit. So literally my Warzone videos, when they see me having 300 FPS in Warzone. A lot of gamers that and like Warzone gamers that come into the channel are like, holy shit, that's possible. Yes, it is possible. And it's possible on a daily system. If this is 100% possible, that's the point. That is my channel. My channel is a competitive, competitive esports channel. You know what I mean? Uh, let me just catch up on the chat here. I, yeah, I don't know. I, I gotta. Yeah, I don't know, guys. It's 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 really fucking annoying, though. It is so goddamn annoying having XOC guys all the time, dude. That's a good idea, oh fucko. That's a fantastic idea, dude. Thank you for that idea. Uh, cover video. 
explaining the channel. There we go. There we go. Thank you, thank you, dude. That is a incredible idea. Yes. That's exactly what I fucking- I would never thought of that. That's a good idea. Uh, channel. Channel trailer. Yes. That is exactly what I fucking have to do, dude. Oh, yeah, okay. Because- Oh, yeah. My channel trailer right now is deleting a 3950X. That makes- That makes perfect sense, dude. Okay. Uh... <laughs> yes, precision, precision. Not, yes. Uh, yeah, dude, I just, and use the not an Apple fan logo behind it too. That'd be fucking perfect, dude. What? What's the symbol for XOC? Oh my God, that'd be fucking fantastic, dude. Hang on, hang on. Let, let's see what comes up if we Google XOC images. Mmm. Yeah, that doesn't really work. I guess I could use like the Precision XOC uh, logo or something like that. Oh my god, dude. Um. One frame at a time? That would work, but then people might not understand what the word frame means either. FPS, every gamer knows what FPS means, right? What you reckon AIO cooler killed my board? I can't understand your question, dude. So you killed your chip by stressing your CPU at 90 degrees Celsius? It should be under warranty. I don't think you can buy KSs anymore. I don't mind console, I don't mind console people though. Um, I like console people, dude. What I was saying, if you're a fucking console person, okay, what we we were saying in the Discord earlier, did you guys see did you guys see the picture that I posted where it was like uh 3000 megahertz RAM was on sale on Newegg for 50 bucks or whatever? And then I don't remember, I think it was Tyet or somebody. I don't remember. They were like, "That's a pretty good deal." I'm like, "No. Don't like no. If if you the 4000 megahertz Viper kit is $90 right now on Amazon." And so like if so there, there's there's a minimum threshold of what you should be buying as a PC gamer now because the, the consoles have changed the landscape they've completely changed the fucking landscape if if you're if you're building a PC and you can only afford this you're much better so I'm assuming if you're buying this you have like a 3600 at 3600 3000 megahertz RAM 16 gigabytes maybe uh you're using the stock cooler you maybe have like a two terabyte hdd with it like a really 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 budget build just buy a console don't do this this is this will give you such a trash can gaming experience dude you might get like 60 fucking fps in warzone with this like don't do it dude don't do it just buy a ps5 or an Xbox. Like 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 this is done now. It's obsolete. It's fucking done, dude. It's done skis. Don't do it. Like, I really like consoles. A lot a lot like these this generation of consoles are fucking fantastic, dude. And you pretty much get a 2080 Super with it. Like like, why would you build this? Why on God? And this guy would probably be able to afford like a 1660 Super or something with this budget. It makes no fucking sense to build this, dude. It makes zero fucking sense. You, with a PS5 or an Xbox, you get a one terabyte SSD. You get a 3700X. You get a fucking 2080 Super. You get, well, the RAM is irrelevant. But you, and, and then this is $500. This would be like fucking $700, dude. Consoles are fucking awesome. 
no one should be building this shit. Does that make sense? Like, no one in their fucking right mind. Oh, that's kind of too small. No one should be building this, dude. Or, yeah, like this. This is a fuck. Like, you can't you can't game on this anymore, dude. At, at a time when the PS4 was out, I know I know you can't come by these consoles, but I would if you if you're like desperate, don't build this. Fuck. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh Yeah, intro video is the next thing I'm going to do. That's a fantastic idea. Um That is a good one. I'll make a t-shirt. Nori tipped fuss up Nori. It comes eventually. It's behind for some reason. It's like lagging for some reason, dude. Um Score chaser. Yeah, dude, the XOC guys, man. Am I going to solder cap capacitors on the back of my CPU? Holy we have to get away from this. We have to fucking get away from this, dude. Even just because I do it on my channel does not mean it's a gaming thing, dude. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know, dude. We have to get away from this shit. Uh, yes, I can fix it, but I can't fix it right now. <laughs> You have too much OCD, man. You gotta chill. Coffee. Uh. Um, you might be able to get some kind of warranty from a manufacturer. Uh, I am uh, M MGD or whatever. If an AIO killed your entire system, you might be able to get some compensation for that, uh, depending on the brand. That's what I mean. Anyone buying 3000 megahertz RAM is building a budget system, but the budget system is going to perform perform way worse than a console, dude. Way worse. Don't fucking do this. There's there this is done now. It's completely obsolete. No one should ever be building this anymore. It's completely obsolete now. Even 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 a rig with a 2070 is obsolete now. It's too expensive. What? Don't do it. Just get a fucking console, dude. Consoles are the shit. Ugh. I don't think I'll ever be partnered. Um, in order to get partnered on Twitch, I have to stream three days a week. Because I only stream for two hours at a time, I don't meet the minimum hour threshold per month. So I would have to like, I would have to add like a Thursday stream of some sort. Uh, and then you also have to maintain the view hours for those for that time too, right? So like the Tuesday streams have a lot less viewers than the Saturday ones because all the UK and Europeans can get on for th for Saturday. So I I I, I mm, maybe maybe when I get to like 10 to 10 10k subs on YouTube, maybe then possibly, and then maybe when Overwatch 2 comes out. And then maybe if I stream Overwatch 2 on Thursdays, then maybe that that would make more sense. But you can't talk about tech too often per week because nothing fucking happens, right? So like two times a week is it good enough for tech talk. If I do add a third day, it would have to be some game that I'm passionate about. So when Overwatch 2, yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna, when Overwatch, because Overwatch 1 is at the end of its life cycle, when Overwatch 2 comes out, I will stream that on Thursdays, competitively. Like, I'll go fucking balls deep in that shit, when that game comes out. Because then, not only will I have you guys watching, I'm actually gonna have people that are interested in Overwatch 2 content watching. So I'm gonna have two separate sets of viewers, right? So like, Thursdays will be like the gamers, and then Tuesdays and Saturdays will be like the fucking, do you want to solder capacitors on your fucking CPU people? 